Hello guys, hope you all are doing good and let's move on to today's session. You have studied so many things in Scratch. Today, we are going to build a game which is similar to a ping pong game. The game is catching a strawberry. Let's start. So in this game, we don't need our sprite Tommy. So we can remove him from the sprite list. Now click here to choose another sprite. For this game, we need a strawberry and a ball to catch the strawberry. So choose a strawberry from food. So click here on food and choose a strawberry. Yes, so strawberry is in the stage. Now choose a bowl. Once again click here and scroll down to choose a bowl. Yes, so click on this bowl. So now both strawberry and bowl is in the stage. So using this bowl, we are going to catch this strawberry. And now click on this strawberry on the sprite list. Go to events and select the first block when flag clicked and place it over here. For the second block, go to looks and choose the block set size to 100%. We need to reduce the size of strawberry. So set the size to 50. Now when we click the flag, our strawberry's size reduced. Our game is to catch the strawberry using this ball. So the ball will move as we move the mouse. So let's set the movement of ball. So click on ball here in the sprite list. Now choose the block when flag clicked from events. We need the bowl to be moved only horizontally. It should not move vertically. So choose the block set Y from motion. Can you see the block set Y to minus 154? So drag and drop that block and place it over here. So now when we click the flag, the bowl will automatically comes back to the Y axis we have set. Now go to controls, choose the forever loop and set X block from motion and place it over here. Drag and drop mouse X from sensing to this place provided over here. Now click on start simulation and you can see that the bowl moves as we move the mouse pointer. Now we need this strawberry to move in a vertical bounce way. So select strawberry in sprite list. Choose when flag clicked from events. Now we need some blocks for the vertical movement of strawberry. So this strawberry should move vertically for that a good motions and choose the block change y by 10. So choose that and place it over here. Click on the flag and you can see that strawberry is moving upwards. So you know that our strawberry should fall down so it should be moved downwards. So we need to replace 10 with minus 10. When we click the flag, you can see that the strawberry moves downward. And this should be a continuous movement. So place it inside a forever loop. The strawberry should have an initial position when we start the game. So to set an initial position, choose set Y to 10 block again from the motions. So Replace 126 with 180. So now whenever we click the flag, it will first come to the initial position, then only fall down. 
when the strawberry is cached by the ball this should be inside the ball so we need to adjust the fall down position so we need to adjust the y position for that first choose if then block from control and place it inside the forever loop now go to operators and choose the less than block now go to motion choose y position block just drag and drop it in this place provided over here so we need to replace this 50 with minus 146 because our strawberry should not move from minus 146 position this means that we set it up the fall down position to minus 146 so now when strawberry comes to this position it should go back to the initial position so place the block set y to 180 inside this loop you can see that the strawberry is falling down from one position only we need to make the strawberry fall from random position so for that we need some block so go to motion and choose the block go to random position and place it inside here so now the strawberry will fall from random position Yes you can see that the strawberry is falling from random position and we cannot predict the position of strawberry As for this is a game we need to show the score so we need to show the score of how much strawberry we catched So make a score variable go to variables and make a variable score So you can see the score will show here now select set my variable to 0 and drag and drop it over here now whenever we restart the game our score will come back to 0 now go to control and choose if then block and press it over here so this should also be placed inside the forever loop Now select the block touching mouse pointer from sensing and place that block inside this space. Now change mouse pointer to bowl. Now if the strawberry falls on the bowl, our score must be incremented by 1. For that choose the block change variable by 1. After the strawberry touches the ball, it should move back to random position to choose the block. So choose the block go to random position and also choose the block set y to 180 to make the strawberry's initial position 180 Now change the variable name to score and click on the flag You can see that when the strawberry falls on bowl our score is getting incremented by 1 Now we need to know how many strawberries we missed So for that we need to make another variable missed. So go to variables and make another variable missed. So now how many strawberries we missed will also be shown here. Now choose change missed by one block and place it here. Now when we click the flag you can see that the score gets incremented as the strawberry falls on the bowl and if the bowl missed the strawberry the missed value will be incremented by 1 If the number of missed the strawberry reaches 15 we should end the game so choose if then block from controls and place it over here now go to operators and choose equal to block now choose the missed block from variables and place it in this space now replace 50 with 
This means that the missed strawberry is equal to 15 then the game should end. So we need one more block for this section. So when the missed strawberry becomes 15 the game should end. So we need to stop our script. So choose the block stop all from controls. Go to control and drag and drop the block stop all. Now change this all to this script. Yes. So whenever the missed strawberry becomes 15, the game ends. Okay, so you can see the missed value is increasing. Yes. So when it becomes 15, our game ends. Let us add some sound when the ball catches strawberry and also when game ends. Before that, we need to make the missed value 0 at initial time. So when we start the game, the missed value also becomes 0. So choose set missed to 0 from controls and drag and drop it here. Now let us add some sound when the bowl catches strawberry and also when the game ends. So go to sound and choose play sound and place it here. We can select a sound. So click on sounds. Now click here and select a sound. Let's choose a sound from effects. You can choose any of the sounds being going bowling boom cloud you can choose any of this sound and i'm choosing coin sound so click on this now coming back to code we need another sound for game over so select a play sound again from sound and place it here now choose a sound Let's choose the sound from sports. You can select any of these sounds. Shall we choose this basketball bounce sound? So click on it. Change coin to, to basketball bounce so that we will hear basketball bounce sound when game ends. Now click on the flag. Can you hear the sound of coin every time when the bowl catches the strawberry? So yes, we are done with the sound. Now we can add a background to the game. For that click here. You can choose a backdrop from any of these. Let's choose a blue sky. Yes, so we build the background also. You can see that in this game, we have only one strawberry falling from random position. So let us add more strawberries in the game. For that, we need to clone the strawberry. So first select when flag clicked from events and for the second block uh, go to controls and choose create clone of myself. Now we need a forever loop. Place this create clone of myself inside forever loop. The clone must be started after some seconds. So we need to wait. So choose wait one second. We need to start the game with the strawberries we cloned. So we need to replace the block when flag clicked from here with when I started as a clone block. So choose that block from the controls. Remove this when flag clicked. Now click on the flag. You can see so 
many strawberries are falling down. The strawberries are falling down so fastly. So we can change the wait seconds. So let us make it 3 seconds. So replace 1 with 3. Now the strawberries will fall in every 3 seconds. So guys, can you see a strawberry always remain in this rightmost position? It will never fall down. So we need to hide that strawberry. For that, go to looks and drag and drop hide here. Also when we begin the game, we need to show that strawberry. So choose show and drop it here. Now when we start the game, the strawberry will get disappeared and at the end of the game, it will appear again. So guys, you know that the game is over when the number of strawberry misses reached 50. We can add the game over section in this. Due to time constraints, we have only done the section for script talks and give it tone for this. You can add a game over session just like you did in ping pong game. You have learned about costume change in previous classes. Uh, then you can change the costume of the fall of strawberry. So guys try doing the costume changes and other animations to make the game more colorful. We will meet again in next session with another project. Thank you.